Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out the amazing Hudson Electronics Broadcast, the dual foot switch version to be precise. Now, there's a lot of hype about this pedal at the moment. There's a waiting list, you've got to put yourself on a waiting list like I did. You know, it's not a long waiting list, it's a couple of months or so. There's something special about this pedal. Like a, everyone who's played it is kind of falling in love with it, and I'm no exception. I've kind of fallen in love with this pedal. So what is it? It is a discrete Class A Germanium preamplifier. Now what does that mean? Basically it means it can be whatever you want it to be. It can be clean boost, transparent overdrive, mild, kind of really kind of an overdrive with a lot of character. It can be a tone shaping tool. You can get rid of, you know, if you've got way too much bass in your rig and you just want to cut through a bit more, get rid of all the bass. But a really cool thing, hit the high high gain foot switch and you get this kind of really unique fuzz tone. It's based off 1960s kind of um, recording consoles like uh, Neves, so you think about quite a lot of 1960s Beatles guitar tones, kind of can get you that sort of thing. Really great at pushing your amp into different territories that maybe you cannot get from other pedals, you know, because it's not a normal sounding, if you use this as an overdrive, it's not a normal sounding overdrive at all. Kind of the way it breaks up is kind of not unnatural, but it's kind of, it's not amp-like at all. Kind of the idea is to not sound like an amp. Don't let that put you off. This is a tone that you need on your pedal board, trust me. It's got a specially selected triad steel core transformer and an NOS germanium transistor. So it's got a super high quality transformer inside to keep your signal clear and then a super high quality NOS germanium transistors to give it some character. So we have a bypass button and then we have kind of engage high gain mo mode. So you kind of have low gain and high gain mode. So here we go, we have low cut, then we have a gain trim. This uh, alters the gain trim of the low gain side, so just the bypass. When you hit the high gain knob, the gain is pretty much maxed out. You can adjust it internally, but I just leave it maxed out. So we have a gain trim for the low gain side, then we have a level for low and high modes. I'll tell you, my favorite setting on this pedal is the low cut all the way down, and then everything else at 12 o'clock. Sounds beautiful. It's probably best for me to just to stop talking and just plug it in and get some sweet, sweet tones. Um, I'll be playing the Telecaster, bit of a change, and uh, into the victory. And we're gonna get some sweet, sweet tones. Um, so here we go, the Hudson Electronics Broadcast, dual foot switch version. Let's just give it a whirl, shall we? So clean sound. And then we're just gonna jump right in. Everything at 12 o'clock. This is the low gain side. Yeah, but here we, you can see we've got the low cut up, so that is cutting some low end. Let's turn it all the way off, so we're gonna get all the low end that our signal already has. So as you can hear, lowering that low cut really um, changes the sound, and in my opinion, for the better, especially on the low gain side. I think that really helps bring that, um, sounds just more guitar-like in a way. It doesn't sound, you know, as direct into the amplifier, as, as into the recording console as maybe this pedal was designed to. Let's just roll it all the way up just to see what it does. Um, so this is cutting, as much low end as this pedal can. It's gonna sound pretty spiky. Mm -hmm. 
let's jump the gain up to three quarters, shall we say? <laughs> So we're getting into medium gain overdrive territory there. Um, not quite fuzzing out yet. Let's jump it up all the way and see if we get any fuzz out of this side of the pedal. <laughs> That's a really usable and friendly overdrive tone. You know, I think a lot of people are scared about this pedal that it's not based on anything that they've ever heard of or anything that they've seen in a pedal before. But that's such a awesome and versatile but still unique overdrive tone. The clipping on that is not like any other pedal I've heard before, you know, because it's based off a recording console. We're going to leave the level here alone. Um, this is the tone we've got so far on the low gain side. Let's kick on the high gain side. Now this is when it gets fuzzy and you know, it just sounds so, so good. I mean, yeah, that's the reason why you buy the dual, fit, dual foot switch version over the normal version. You can get that tone out of the, uh, norm, the, you know, the single foot switch version, but it's just, you know, you just hit a button and you get that tone. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that tone at all. I mean, it's spiky. Um, you know, it's probably not for everyone. It's not a natural fuzz tone. By the way, the last knob on the right is just a uh, volume control for the high gain mode. Um, let's bump it up onto high gain and see what the low cut does to that. Let's jump it up to there. So it kind of uh, harshens it up a little bit. You know, somebody somewhere is going to use that tone. Personally, I like it with all the low ends. Just sounds, like I said before, more guitar-like, more like a usable tone in all situations. Um, I think that's it. It's a pretty simple pedal. You know, there's no tone controls going on there. I love this pedal. This is, you know, again, this is a pedal that you have to put yourself on the waiting list for. There's quite a lot of hype around it at the moment, and it's completely 
it completely deserves all the attention it's getting. It's a wonderful, wonderful pedal and built in the UK, so that's cool, represent. Um, cheers guys, that's the Hudson Broadcast, dual foot switch version. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys. <laughs>